Well guys, you really must love your motorcycles, cars, bikes, and whatnot, right? I mean, the number of times I get a request to do a tire modeling tutorial is stunning. But that said, that's totally okay. I make these videos for you guys, so if that's what you want, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna show you yet another technique to make a cool looking tire in no time. Here we go. This video has been made possible by RenderHub.com, the premier site for selling and buying your 3D related content, such as 3D models, HDRI files, sound effects, textures, print ready models, and much, much more. So here we go. We're gonna go and start by going up to create. We're gonna go to polygon primitives and we're gonna select a pipe, right? Let's hit E to rotate that guy, hold down J, flip it upward like this, make sure it's straight up. Hit R to scale it up a little bit so we can see what we're talking about. Push it in to about there, I would say. Looks a bit thin, but we're gonna pull this out in a sec, so don't worry about that. Then we're gonna go in here, and actually let's give this a little bit more subdivision before we go any further, right? Control A to open up the attribute editor. Let's change this to 40, that's better. And then in height, Let's set that to three, because I'm gonna need those later, right? And uh, actually, we'll do four, that's better. All right, so now that we have that, um, let's see here. Um, I don't really need those inside faces, so we can decide to get rid of those at some point, but for now, it's good. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go in here, and I'm gonna right-click and go to Vertex. Let's get this out of the way. Out of the way, yeah, thank you. Uh, we're gonna drag select these vertices, okay? And we're gonna start to scale it to make this a bit thinner. Now, as we do so, they will come out as well. And you can see that here. And that's exactly what I want, right? Cool. Okay, so now that we have that, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go up here and we're gonna select these vertices. Uh, let me do that from this view. I'm gonna right click our vertex. I'm gonna drag select that first vertical row. Then I'm gonna shift drag select that one. And we're gonna hit E and we're gonna rotate that. Something like this. Then we're gonna take the one in the middle and we're gonna rotate that in the other direction. But don't go crazy on that, that looks all right. And then we're gonna go in here to face and I'm gonna select these faces. So go in here, click and double click, click and double click. And then I'm gonna hit shift period to increase that selection, right? So make sure you do not select these internal faces. Like I said, we'll probably get rid of those at some point. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna extrude these. So I'm gonna hit control E to extrude, but I don't want these faces to stay together. So we're gonna turn that off, okay? Thickness, let's do 0 0.02. That's probably not enough, let's try 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 is probably better, but still not enough. Let's try 0 0.3. 0 0.3 is better. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, let's see what we're gonna do next is we're gonna tweak the offset. So let's try 0 0.01, just to bring that in a little bit. And let's see if that's enough. 0 0.05, that looks better. Okay, cool. Starting to get there. All right, so now that we have that, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to, uh, let's see, um, Injured Edge Loop, Option Box. Let's go to Multiple and then set it to one. And when we do that, it will put an edge loop exactly in the middle, right? So we've got one there, one there, exactly in the middle. And then we'll put one here in the middle of these two and one here in the middle of these two. Okay, cool. We're gonna queue on our keyboard. Now, like I said, I don't necessarily need these interfaces here. So what we can do is just uh, get rid of those and shift period and then delete. There you go. And now we can start to tweak that overall shape, right? So we're gonna take these guys, double click on this one, shift, double click on this one. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna kind of scale that up like this, push a little bit in like this. That looks right. Then we're gonna go in here, double click on, come on, 
double click on this one, shift, double click on this one. And we're gonna push them in like so. That looks kind of cool. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control E to extrude. And we're gonna hit R and pull them out a little bit like this, just a little bit, right? And then we're gonna hit G to repeat and we're gonna hit R again and we're gonna pull that out again to something like that. That kind of makes sense, right? Okay. So let's see what else we got. Now we have that all going on. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna take this one. We're gonna shift select this one. We're gonna go to uh, edit mesh and bevel. And then we'll uh, tweak that a little bit. Let's open this up. This is a bit too big. I wanna change that fraction. So let's try 0 0.1, 0 0.2 maybe. Yeah, 0 0.2 is better, right? So 0 0.2, and then we're gonna go in here, right click, get a face, click and shift, double click, and then click and shift, double click. There you go. Control E to extrude. Let's get this out of the way here. Uh, hang on. Um, there you go okay and let's go with minus 0 0.05 just to give us some detail there okay so that looks good uh the only thing i need to tweak here is that it's a bit too flat on top there so let's uh, tweak that a little bit so what we're going to do here is we're going to right click go to vertex we're going to drag select all three all right we're gonna hit R and we're gonna very, very, very slightly increase that. And then we'll take the one in the middle and then we'll do the same. And then we're gonna go in and here's your tire. Easy peasy, right? Okay, that's it guys. Well, if you get any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe thing if you didn't do that just yet. Uh, if you want to be uh, notified of new videos, hit that little bell thingy. And that said, thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.